Welcome back. It's Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And we specialize in classic American muscle cars. Today we'll be taking a test drive in a 1955 210. This one's got a 5.7 freight motor, aluminum radiator, overdrive transmission. It's also got power steering, power brakes, and not just power brakes, four wheel disc brakes. And this thing has definitely got some eye appeal. I love the way the wheels tuck up under there. We put those on, they're brand new. Got new bumpers, tailpipes, lots of new chrome and accessories. But we have detailed pictures of this ride at maplemotors.com. That's any chip, flaw, and undercarriage shots. We try to find everything we can, and uh, as honest as we can be, we'll tell you everything we find. In this video, we're taking it down the road for a test drive, point out all the flaws. That way you know what you're getting. Offer financing and shipping. Just go to maplemotors.com, check that out. And uh, I'll continue making videos. All I ask is hit share, like, and subscribe. And we'll keep these rocking for you. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, go look around the interior, kind of check everything out. Go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the horn works? I'm hoping it does because I'm on a roll this week with zero horns. <laughs> All right, get my bag out of the seat. Fairly new carpet in here. The seat is in great shape. Same with the back seat. Package tray needs to be replaced. And the top of the back seat is actually a little bit faded from the sun. The headliner in this one, it's not ripped up. And it looks all right. It looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and start her up. Starts up nice and easy. Got a good sound. Let's try some stuff out. Wipers. We got one wiper that's flying around. The other one's not. And tilt column, chrome tilt column. Horn. Give me a beep. <laughs> it's not. That thing's stuck anyways. Man, on a roll. No horns this week. Switches here, I'm not 100% sure. Blower motor. And I'm not sure what the top one does. Okay, let's hit the road, see how she runs and drives. Okay. Getting ready to take off here. I'm just kind of looking around. Looks like they deleted the radio. I got to get the glove box open. Maybe it'll come open with the key. But we're gonna take off down the road. Any flaws I see, I will let you know. That's why I do these videos. It's correct. We're going straight as an arrow. Steering's pretty tight. Doesn't feel bad at all. Nobody's behind us. I'm nailing the brakes. They stop great. I need those. I do not believe the kick down's hooked up on this one. brakes again <laughs> gas gauge is about half a tank we're good on gas the original temperature gauge is coming up and it looks like it's working turn signals are popping up on both sides of the dash and they are bright
Got to manually turn off the turn signals. Coming up in the parking lot here. I'm going to get some outside shots. I'm also going to drive around and uh, go flying past the camera. Try not to run over it. <laughs> Look below in the description. You can see all the stuff that I use to make these videos. You can get these cooling towels. They work pretty good. They get the sweat off of me. And they feel a little bit cooler than the air around me, so I like them. And also, if you like the music, that's me and my band. I go home after work all the time, sit there playing music. It's fun. And I put my music out there for free to everybody to listen to. So hopefully you like it. Let's get these shots. And uh, we're going to check this car out. Okay, let's roll on out. Just in time too. You know I'm always talking about rain. Well, look at it. <laughs> Black clouds rolling in, Tennessee weather. I absolutely love rain. So I'm in the right state. Cause it never stops here. <laughs> Okay, and that five o'clock traffic. It's okay though. Temperature's doing good. It's not even on the halfway mark. It has come up a little bit since I've been riding around. Maybe after this car, this side will stop too. Let's do it. We're good to go. there. I know you got a 6.0 in that Escalade.
Yeah, the temperature gauge already came back down. It was at the halfway mark. It's already back down. So it's working pretty good. If it was me, personally, I would put the three gauges below the dash to have a more accurate setup with the numbers instead of just the dummy gauges. That's what these are called. I think the steering wheel on this one's been put on a little bit too tight because if you just barely move it, that kind of sticks a little bit. I mean, freely moving it around, it won't do that. But that tire rubbed up there in the front. I know they were close. Finally got a little bit of a tire rub there. Let's see what it does on the old uh, speed bump. Really smooth. Nice. did handle that speed bump well. Tried to rub again, I heard it. Guess what guys, we made it back. I appreciate you watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit subscribe. We're going to pick the flaws now. All right, we're gonna be walking around this ride here. Point out any kind of chips, scratches, flaws I can find. So let's get started. Just in the beginning, overdrive, transmission, aluminum radiator, power steering, four wheel disc brakes, 5.7 liter. Two tone, lots of chrome. And brand new wheels. Dual exhaust out the back. I mean, she's pretty. I'm gonna get up close to personal. We're looking for chip scratches, rust, bondo, anything I can find. And check out those detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. We also have financing and ship. Getting down here in the front. Nice chrome bumper. That grill on this one looks good. The headlight bezels and the turn signals look fairly new. They look pretty good. Coming down this side, up and over the fender well, coming on down. You got some paint lines right there, little runs. Going on down, you got some bubbles in the corner of the door. Got some rust trying to come through. Heading on down some more. Looking over the fender, a little weak spot in the paint. Back here in the back, another little weak spot in the paint. Going on down. Trim looks good. Wax mark left. And I wiped it off. Door handle on this one's got a little bit of pitting popping up. Some wax left on the fender there couple dimples here so if you look right here you got some really really small dimples back over the top of the fender looks pretty good window looks good trim looks good little spot there in the pillar coming up over looking at the roof the roof is in great shape Over the back window, in good shape as well. Over the side windows. You got a couple little dents in your trim up top. Coming around the back. Back bumper looks great. Dual exhaust.
All the jams are nice and clean. Tell the hinges are diff are fairly new. Trunk solid. Weather strip, it's good. Insulation's still there, older. Let me down with the trunk. Got a bubble down here in the corner. She's shut. See the package tray, they just wrapped with some fabric. Uh, it really needs to be redone. You can see the top of the seat's weak from the sun. But the seat itself looks great, so it's just the top of the seat that really needs to be redone. We'll get in there in just a second. This is definitely my favorite model out of all three, 55, 56, 57. pretty good okay I like the back fenders how they come down and make it look kind of was lowered that way you know let's go on up looking pretty good a little wax left in the corner there uh, a little scuff there that should come out you got some bubbles popping up at the bottom of the door There's a couple there. A little bit of overspray in the middle of the door here. You can see there's little specks coming up over the fender. In the corner there, you got some spots in right through here. Looks like it's been worked on right there. You can see it. Probably a little Bondo in it. You can see uh, orange peel on the paint there right here in the front right there in the corner is where i'm talking about i feel like it's been worked on but i don't know i think it may just be a dent with some paint on top of it made it look like bondo but it's solid behind it cool yeah i think that's just a, a little dent with some paint on it kind of gave off that resemblance for a second sorry about that we'll go back down this side very straight looking car trim looks good looking real good coming down the top here Yes, a uh, little dent popping up there. A lot of times people put this stuff on, they get a little rubber mallet or something and start denting it up. You don't really even need all that. Sound a little weird, did you hear that? Guy across the street. <laughs> Front windshield looks good. All the trims looking pretty good. There's a little defect in the corner there. It's a little crinkly, don't it? You got a small little dent right here. Very small. Looking over the roof. Right here, there's a line under the paint. You can't see it really without hitting it with the right light. And there's a crack in the corner. Real small, right up here on top. Got a couple bubbles popping up. Okay. Looks like the paint's a little thick there too. Sweet. Faded around this ride. And now I'm gonna go to the interior, start it up, listen to the motor, and get back to the test drive.
Of course, I always put this at the end, and I always forget that, but I will get the hang of it, I promise. Two years of the other way. Just had to change it up a little bit. Opening the door here. Door panel looks good. A little bit older. See, it's a little bit of an off-white on the seat. Let's look under the door here. Weather stripping looks good. Coming around. Up under. In jam. That tree has got so much pollen blowing. Come on, you're gonna get the car all dirty. Sorry about that. Right there, a little bit of paint. See it's running there. Come on to the back. Top of the seat, baggage tray. Reach in, turn the key. Starts up so good. Always, always carry your dice. <laughs> Down with the hood. Little spot there at the bottom of your emblem looks like a paint run. Emblem's got some pitting on it. Locks up easy. Dimple here. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. If you like this video, please hit subscribe, share. That's the only thing I ask you to do. That helps me out so much, and I'll keep these videos coming your way. We get about 10 cars a week. Every Monday, we post those cars for sale. We want you to check about 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock on Mondays. Give me a call if you see something you like. A lot of people are missing a bunch of them, wondering why they're already on hold or sold by Wednesday or Thursday. That happens every week now. I do encourage you to check on Mondays and check maplemotors.com if you need financing. You can get pre-approved. You can be pre-approved for a while, for a certain amount too. So let's say a couple weeks pass, you finally see one you like on the lot, you're already pre-approved. You call me on Monday, boom, the car is yours. That's why they're going so fast. I appreciate you watching. I do have that finance, I have shipping, all at maplemotors.com. Okay, let's head back to the lot. I'm sorry I say that so much, but pe some people just, they don't hear that, and I wanna make sure that they hear that, because I get calls all day long about it, which is fine, but you heard it first here. I'll see you later.